You know, the uh, U.S. has seen some uh, devastating storms of late. Uh, in fact, tornadoes swept through seven states last week. And we're going to do a little science experiment with the, uh, the dancing mad scientists today. We, we hope we can uh, pull this off. We may have to bring our garage doors down to do this. But what, what have you got here today? Good morning, Rob. Today we're going to do a little bit about the science of tornadoes. Like mm -hmm. you said, just last week we had some major tornadoes in Alabama and surrounding states. Now, to form these kind of massive tornadoes, you need two things. You need a major thunderstorm, mm -hmm. and you need something called wind shear. Now, wind shear is just a fancy word meteorologists use to describe a difference in air speed or direction, which causes air to start rotating. Okay. Now, that's a mouthful, but I can actually show you wind shear okay. using this children's toy here called an air zooka and a fog machine. And just by putting a little fog in here, what we can do is actually shoot mm -hmm. these rings of smoke, these air vortex rings, using the principle of wind shear. Okay. Pretty sweet, right? Yeah, cool. Yeah, so the way this works is when I quickly force air through their front hole, okay. the air around the sides encounters some friction and slows down, while the air in the center keeps moving quickly. That difference in air speed causes the air to start turning. It's called wind shear. Now, the same thing happens mm -hmm. in the atmosphere, but the rotation is in the shape of a long tube okay. caused by a movement of huge air masses. So now we have our horizontal rotation, and to form a tornado, we need vertical rotation. And that's where the thunderstorm comes in. And so if this flaming dish here represents the thunderstorm, what this does is it provides an updraft of warm air. Mm -hmm. And if we can actually bring the garage doors down to try to reduce the wind, we can actually okay. form a tornado. So this makes the rotation turn vertically. And then as the rotation gets tighter and tighter, it gets faster and faster. And if things are just right, we can form a tornado. Oh, yeah. See that? There you go. It's that easy. Apparently, they, and they had the, just all the elements were right last week for this with the wind shear and That's all That's right. The it was just these kind of free conditions that all are occurring at the same time, almost like a perfect storm scenario. Mm -hmm. And of course, this is really neat, but we want to encourage people to be very careful. Tornadoes can be very serious, and so you want to seek shelter if there's a tornado. Um, in the basement, and if you don't have a basement, on the ground floor, away from the windows. Okay, so there you have. We made a tornado in the garage. And you can find out to, uh, more about the uh, Jeff here and his upcoming events. You can go to dancingmadscientist.com. Thanks for the tornado. Yep. Thanks, Thank science you. man.